Hi, this is Gio again, and today's project is replacing this air conditioning unit, which is uh, installed in the wall here. It's actually a window unit, but these commonly are installed in, in walls. This is a 1200 BTU Panasonic, and it's been giving me some problems. It's pretty old, it's about seven years old, and so it is time for it to be replaced. And I, uh, first thing I had to do was measure out uh, the size of this opening. And if you actually look at the back side here, this is what the exterior looks like. It's pretty much in bad shape. The outside case doesn't really look good anymore. And that is, I'm going to be replacing the whole thing, not just the inside, but the outside case. And what I purchased to replace it with is this LG unit. It's basically the exact same unit as Panasonic. It's probably the same manufacturer, but it's the 1200 BTU. Uh, can cover 550 square feet. I made sure that the measurements, the dimensions, are accurate for the size. And so this is what we're going to be installing today. So the first step is just to take out uh, the outer case here. And the top pops up. You can see the screen like here. It looks pretty grody inside. This external wire here is actually tucked in there and we have to get that out. So we first get our screwdriver. And we could actually pop the, this out just by pushing out and taking that down. And then you're just looking for some screws to hold this outer case in place. And it's almost ready to fall apart as it is. There we go. I think that's it. Just kind of push on the outside and pop it out. And this is what the interior unit looks like. So, well, I should have unplugged it before I even started, so I unplugged it. Get all this extra cord out of here so we can see what we have. This here is actually the little thermostat that controls the temperature. And this whole thing is the air conditioning unit, the inside and this outer casing, but they can be separated. Uh, usually when they come together, they're usually screwed together. But when they're installed in a wall unit like this, quite commonly, this is attached to the wall, and these are just slid in. And so I believe I could just pull this out. It has a little handle here, and I believe I could just pull it out. And indeed I can. It's a little tight. But I will get this out safely with Parker and I'll be right back. So the first thing I do to get this casing out is remove, it's basically attached with just some screws, so I'll be removing these screws and then working to get this out. It's probably a tight fit, uh, but that's what I'll do next. One thing to note is that somebody has caulked around this outer casing uh, with some caulking. I'm just going to take a simple razor blade and cut around this and cut the caulking so when I remove this casing it won't peel any paint uh, uh, from the wood. So uh, I'll just cut all the way around and then remove the casing. So just as a note, I am having to bend this to get it out. There's a little ridge in here that you might be able to see that was actually in the wood and so it's not as easy so I'm having to bend this out so since it's so damaged I'm not worried about it I'm throwing it away anyway I'm just getting it out as good as I can it's starting to come out I just have to get this little piece out of the way and here's the completed opening which should hopefully fit the new unit <laughs> 